Oh, we got him in a pincer movement now. Oh, they're not gonna like this. They are not gonna like this. Actually, they're doing fine. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Dawn of Men, our little Neolithic community going not so bad. A few children have died due to cave lions, but I think that's perfectly natural at this point in history. We did learn at the end of the last one, very, very exciting, we have learned how farming works now. Now, there's not a heck of a lot I should probably do with this, seeing as it's the middle of winter, but now we can grow emmer, I have no idea what that is, einkorn, again, not the slightest idea, and barley. Barley I at least vaguely understand. I think my first best move is to wait until spring and get up some farming, get some fields going on around here. Now, where I've set ourselves up, we don't actually have a lot of, you know, flat land around here. I did kind of set us up around all of these hills, so I'm not sure how the farming is going to go down and how big a field we need. I have no idea. We'll kind of just play it by ear when spring comes around. Well, we survived the winter again, so there's another knowledge point. So, yep, here we go. Everything's coming into bloom. Everything's coming into blossom. It is springtime. All right. Well, let's test out this farming thing. I'm going to put down some emmer because I can't think of anything else to do with it. All right, so we're just drawing them out in little boxes. How big a field do I need? I'm going to make it that big and then see what they do with that information. And then why don't we put down some of this einkorn too. All right, so red squares can't put anything over there. That's fair, that's fine. Uh, let's see what we can do with that. All righty, we've got that and we've got that. Do I wanna put down some barley? I'm not even sure there's anything I can do with barley. I'm just gonna put down like a small field of barley. Barley to me says beer or ale or mead or I don't know. Wait, isn't mead the one with the honey? I think mead is honey. Anyway, I think barley is getting towards alcohol, and we we don't know that yet. We're not we're not getting hammered yet. Anyway, long story short, let's just put down just a small field of barley and see what they do with it. Well, they're into it. They're excited about it. The whole town turned up to dig these fields. That does mean we we don't really have anyone doing anything else. I'm sure I could limit this in some way and just set a certain amount of people farming, but. Mostly, I just kind of want to test drive farming, so I'm just going to leave it as is. 149% workload on the fields, and there's a trader. Okay, do you have anything good? Like knowledge? I like it when you come up with knowledge. No, kind of just the normal stuff here. In fact, you're pretty dismal as a trader. You don't really have anything at all. Leather, I, I mean, I could take some leather off of you. I'm not opposed to that. I'm going to go with a with a pass, Sparky. Yeah, Jarzor slash Sparky. I'm going to go with thanks for coming by, but you don't have anything that I desperately need and I can't make on my own. Speaking of making things on my own, now that it's spring, what have we got for maybe some animals we could be hunting? Ooh, good pack over here of some nice green guys. Those mouflon? Oh, yeah, they are. Uh, let's just go pick off a few mouflon. When you guys are done in the fields, go deal with that. Oh, Gorgol died of old age. Oh, well, that's going to happen. People get old and they die. That, that's kind of how things work. But it does remind me, I think that's our fourth death. We should probably get another funerary area around here. Spiritual, yeah, funeral area. Let's get another burial mound up in here. And I think we unlocked something new in spiritual. We did the totem. Okay, well, let's put that up. That seems... You know what? Let's put it up by the fields. It's supposed to be honoring nature anyway. We may as well kind of put it up here. So put that... Yeah, right there. Guarding the fields, as it were. Well, everything seems to be going okay over here. They've got the first field done, and they're almost done with the second one. Yeah, people are moving over to the barley here. This seems to be going fine. I don't know what kind of maintenance we have to do on this over the course of the growing season. Can I get an idea of that? No, it's just sort of, just sort of here, just sort of exists. Well, again, we'll just let it tick along. 164% workload. Sorry, guys. Um, it, it's, it's growing season. I was moving one of the gathering work areas, but boy, there is, there's not a lot around here that's worth gathering. 
Uh, we built a burial mound times three. Good, there's a knowledge point right there. I guess we'll set that up over there. It looks like so there's some blueberries or something in that neck of the woods. Uh, the mouflon has escaped. Okay, well, that that's fine. We'll, we'll learn to cope with that. I do have a lot of people working on the fields right now, so I'm not surprised we couldn't catch that guy. Um, anyone else around the area who might like to get murdered, who might be even, you know, close by that we don't have to work very hard at? Not, not as such, no. No, actually, those mouflon are about the best bet we have. Uh, what's that, a boar? Yeah, we'll get you hunted. Well, that is just a fine-looking nature totem, I think, and a knowledge point for doing it, and another one for getting some stone. Excellent. Where are we up to? Five? That's not going to buy me anything at all. Uh, what are you doing, Sparky? You off, uh... You're going to go have a drink of water. You're off hunting, I see. The boar has escaped, too. Okay, we need to be a little more affirmative about our hunting here. Uh, who's in the area? Who, who needs to get slaughtered around here? Some mouflon way up there. Okay, team, you're down to a 43% workload now. That means I can spare a bunch of you. What are you guys over here? What? Oh. Oh, hang on. Hang on. You're peoples. You're people. Okay. And you're specifically marked as raiders. And you're very, very angry and red. Okay, the um, the Mouflon party is over. We're, we're going to do a, a different thing now where we're attacking people. A team. Yeah, no, wow. Right there. Raider attack. Raider attack. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's go. Let, let's get in there. Let's Come on. Grab the spears. Grab the bows. Go get this guy right here. I wonder if we we can scare them off by taking down one or two of them, or are they just going to have to keep coming until we're done with them? Right, this is new. Farming and raids, Neolithic era. Got it, okay. Everyone's kind of taking their sweet time about this, which is hysterical, because I haven't put the game speed up. There we go, my great ninja aquatic warriors deftly and silently swimming towards their enemy. Very, very, I gotta figure out how bridges work. This is just so painfully slow when we swim across the place. Um, team, maybe we want to just wait. Wait here, on this side of the river. I'm just, it's a thought. It's all I'm saying is a thought. There's one guy way up there. I gotta keep an eye on him. He's kind of weirdly trying to flank us. Ah, there we go. Oh, we got him in a pincer movement now. Oh, they're not gonna like this. They are not gonna like this. Actually, they're doing fine. Yeah, you're dead. Yep, saw that coming. Okay, uh, Cord yeah, Gordina's been killed by a raider. Wow, these guys are tough. Uh, you're poking him with a spear. We got some knowledge points for killing a raider. Okay, where's the third one? Yeah, there he is. There he is. Don't forget this one, guys. All right, well, they got one of us. We got two of them. That's, that's manageable. I mean, these things are gonna happen. Oh, he's running. He's running. He doesn't like this at all. Nope, he is not into this party. Good. Run. Absolutely run away. Yeah, run. Oh, there's a little crossing point over there. There's a little bit of shallow. Oh, interesting. I didn't see that before. Um, I think we can probably just let him go. Yeah, let's all go back here. Let's just let him go. If he comes back, that's fine. We'll deal with him then. But right now, let's just let him go. Are you getting stuff off of them? Did you, uh, you're going to a tent and you've got, what, a sling, an outfit, a bow, and a harpoon. Are you sort of reclaiming, are you getting their things? Yeah, there's a bow there. It's a perfectly good bow. In fact, it's a very good bow. It's three out of four stars. That's a very highly well-reviewed bow that they've got. Yeah, let's go get that. Now, with all those knowledge points, I can get myself something here, and I'm immediately inclined to go to fortifications. Now that we've been raided, but they're, that might not be the most sensible thing to do. Well digging sounds a lot smarter. What else could we get in farming? We could get pulse domestication. So we can figure out how chickpeas and lentils work. That might be really handy. Good food variety there, or weaving, or anything. Bridge making, there's my bridges. I kind of, you know what? This is probably the stupidest thing for me to unlock, but I really want bridges. I've been wanting bridges for a while. We just got another knowledge point for figuring out how much water we can carry anyway. Okay, what can I do with the bridge-making information? I can build a bridge. Fair enough. How do we, uh, how do we do this? Oh, okay. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, I like that bridge. That's a good bridge. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put a bridge there. 
And then I'm going to put another one over here. Yeah, this is a spot that we commonly use to cross the river. Let's put one there. Okay, we're going to need a lot of logs for that. I should probably set up another work area for just such a thing. So, um, work area, production. No, this is not what I wanted to do at all. There we go. Cutting down trees. That's what I wanted to do. Do that over there because I'm probably going to end up putting some more farms up over there anyway. And I see our farms are doing very well. We're getting a lot of barley, a lot of whatever that is, and a lot of whatever that is. Oh, that was quick. Holy moly, they just slammed that bridge up. Wow. Well, how about the other one? Oh, okay, they're already done. Great. Uh, that was quick. I didn't realize we'd build that. Yeah, we've got a knowledge point for building the bridge. Excellent. I feel good about that. I mean, it's not its not the most immediately important thing that we needed, probably. But I'm, I just it's going to get them across the river faster. In fact, I, I like them so much, I'm kind of going to put down another one. Give me another bridge... Like, right here. That'd be a good one. Yeah, put one there. Now, all of that being done, we have got to get some hunting going on. We've taken down nothing this entire season, and the meat is getting a little scarce over there. Show me some people. There we go. There's a couple of mouflon right here. Um, team, I'm going to do... Uh, yeah, we're doing a bit of a hunting party. I don't want these ones to get away. So get that guy, please. And they're using my new bridge to do it. Excellent. Wow, that goes so much faster than swimming across the river, doesn't it, team? Isn't that better? Oh, Neolithic Age is just luxurious. All right, this Mouflon definitely not getting away. Okay, and while you're here, guys, grab that one, too. He's right there. Perfect. You know what? While we got the team here, is there, is there anyone else in the area? Anyone kind of kicking around here? Don't immediately... There's... Yeah, you know what, guys? There's a few over here. Go get this guy. Another trader just showed up. You got anything decent? Like, you know, knowledge? Ah, you do. Actually, you have pulse domestication. I could just buy that right now. What do I have that you might want? Skins usually do well. Yeah, those are ten apiece. But we sold off a few of those and then some other things. Five for the slings? You know what? I can make slings all day long. I got no problem making slings. In fact, I don't even want people using slings. I want people using the bows. How about a bone spear? Yeah, we're, we're gonna get there. We are definitely getting to... What did you want for that? I want... Give me this. 280. Okay, we're gonna make it happen somehow. Alright, I had to sell off almost everything we own, but we're getting it. We have got pulse domestication. Is it... Is it too late in the season to get that going? Oh, you know what? Let's find out. Uh, so, oh, wow. We've got all sorts of things. Bitter Vetch. Like a great metal band name. Chickpeas. I understand chickpeas, and I understand lentils. And peas are peas. Okay, let's just get simple peas going on here. I don't know if they'll have time to get these in the ground, but you never know. We could have some peas around the place. Now, I did just basically sell literally everything we own, so get, like, lots of stuff going on, please. And another knowledge point for getting a bunch of berries. That's all good. There should be some meat coming back at some point. We got three mouflon dead out in the fields here. So somebody at some point will go get something, I assume. Uh, what are you doing? You're gathering berries. Okay, great. Good. That's a very, very valuable thing for you to be doing. Congratulations on using the new bridge to get you back and forth. Oh, goodness. There's a disease. Okay. What do we do with the icorn? I don't even know what einkorn is, but there's a disease on it. How do we fix that? How do we make that go away? Do you guys, I mean, basically you guys automatically do things anyway, so I don't seem to have any ability to tell you and go and deal with the disease. I'm just going to kind of hope you do it. Now, you're harvesting. That's clearly a sickle. So you're harvesting. Thurza's dead. Okay, sorry, Thurza. Um, sorry I didn't get to enjoy the bridges more than some other people. And we got a knowledge point for doing something. I think we gathered a bunch of nuts or berries. Okay, we're getting harvesting here. I don't think these peas are going to come in at all. I, don't, I mean, you're over here. Are you going to start working on this? No. Actually, you're heading over here to harvest that. Uh, three new humans joined, and we don't have any more flint. All right, it's just all popping off here in Dawn of Man right now. Flint. Let's deal with first things first here. Where could we find some more flint? Where where might that live? That's the one I just exhausted. Uh, yeah, there's some over here. That's a perfectly good spot to be doing that. In fact, it looks like 
looks like you're already over there doing a thing. I may have already... S I, you know what, Dave? You just set up two work areas in the same place. Why don't you pull one of these out? There we go. There's another little patch right over the hill here. That's not too far for them to go. So I got three new people. Great. Good. Well, the fields are coming in, except for the diseased ones. I wonder if this works like other colony builders and I should set the fields far apart from each other to reduce the chance of disease spreading. I don't know. Do please let me know in the comments if you know that, if I should space out the fields so diseases don't spread between different plants. Let me know that. Yeah, we're not getting these peas. That's okay. That's all right. This is all... This first year, we literally just figured out how farming works. So we're not going to be very good at it yet. And we've made a bunch of sickles. What I'd like to keep up with is the hunting, though. I see that meat ticking down rather aggressively. So this entire family of Mouflon, I'm so sorry. It's just that there's another family of Mouflon right over the hill there. So you're kind of superfluous, if you will. Um, you're all you're all going to be lunch, hopefully. I should probably just do an organized party for that, but we've got a lot going on right now. I don't want to take the whole team away and then find out we didn't have time to harvest a field or something. So what did we get? We got a bunch of straw out of that, like a lot, and a lot of grain. I don't think I can actually do anything with the grain. Oh, hang on, another work area just exhausted. Is that the one that I had over here? Yeah, it is. Okay, great, good. Well, we can get rid of that. Um, let's put another one up. We always need flint around the place. Now that we've got the bridges, it will move a little bit faster if we go over here. There just isn't anything over here. I was a little bit over here. That's not bad. In fact, there's two good pockets of it over there. And with the bridge over... I don't want to put, like, bridges everywhere because now I'm concerned about raiders. If raiders are coming, I would like them to swim across the river because that really slows them down. And we could just stand on the banks of the river and shoot them all day. So I don't want to make our town too open. I don't want to invite raiders in here. I just want... Oh, you're using the sledge on the bridge. Excellent. Another trader. What have you got, Sparky? And Larmic died. Yeah, you don't really have anything spectacular, Dre. No knowledge to buy. No, I'm just going to let you go. I don't want to... We're getting too close to winter to be selling off too much more of our stuff. We're going to hoard our food now. Uh, Larmic, real, real sorry to lose you, man. Real sorry. Um, we should probably, we don't need one, but I'm going to get a, oh, a new human was born. Well, Larmec, there you go. Reincarnation, it's a thing. I'm going to get another funeral plot going on here. We don't need it, but it just kind of looks cool now that we've got a graveyard. Now, I should probably get another storage hut. One of them is completely full and the other two are pretty darn full. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do another storage hut. Yeah, I've built all of these. So another storage hut, maybe... I don't know, sort of off here. Near the field is what I'm thinking. Then we can just put everything from the field in here if we wanted to. I have to have it facing that way. Easy access. You can just get your diseased crops and pop them right in the storage tent. Okay, I'd like to see some more meat coming in. I'm a little concerned about the lack of meat that we have right now. Who's in the neighborhood? Ah, the other Mouflon family. Yeah, that's a problem. Anyone closer? Maybe, possibly, sort of? No. Wow, not a lot of animals around this year. I might have been murdering them all a little excessively. I might have hunted things to extinction. Uh, there's a mouflon over there. Go kill it. Uh, sorry, that's an ibex. We'll kill that too. Oh, they are overworking on the peas. Huh. Are we even going to get those? Because it's got to be... Yeah, it's winter now. We did a bunch of flint sickles. Excellent. Oh, that's actually a knowledge point, though that I needed to get to seven, which means I can buy something. Are we going to get these peas? Because it's winter, guys. I don't I don't think we're getting that. Well, you hang out over there and grow peas, and I'm going to check out the knowledge tree. Underground mining sounds awesome. However, I keep coming back to fortifications and well digging. I think those would be super valuable. Actually, goat domestication... I can make cheese eventually. And that's pretty much my goal in all aspects of life, not just in games. Get me sheep, goats. That would kind of solve my meat problem. I could just slaughter and breed my own animals. Not in that order. I'd actually want to do it in the different order where I breed them and then slaughter them. That would be the best move. But geez, there's so much good stuff in Neolithic. I'm getting fortification. 
I just, I don't trust the raider thing. And I also just want to know what I can build with it, too. There, there's just a sort of messing around with the game thing that I want to play around with. Defensive. Okay? Palisade. So, a wooden wall, a gate, and a wooden platform. Oh, sniper nests. Oh, neat. We're getting sniper nests after I build a wall, or at least kind of a wall. Okay, alright, this is interesting. Z and uh, C just change shape. Oh, neat. Well, I want it like that then. Yeah, I want you to build that. Now, that's going to be a terrible wall because everything else is wide open. But again, mostly I just want to mess around with this. And then what I'm thinking is maybe a little bit more wall there and a gate. The gate will go right to the bridge. And then more wall over to the other bridge. And a sni Okay, a sniper nest or two. Excellent. Yeah, we're messing around with walls, but there isn't a heck of a lot to eat. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to tag a bunch of these boars over here to get hunted. I mean, there is food to eat, but there's also, um, you know, not a lot of meat. And meat is skins and meat is hides and all that kind of stuff. So we, we always need dead animals around the place. Okay, back to work, everyone. Let's kick it into high gear here and get through this winter. Oh, we got 10 boar hunted for a knowledge point. Good. Well, somebody did something right over there. Excellent. Yeah, here comes winter in full force. Uh, just set up... Oh, a new human. Okay. Just setting up a couple of things, you know. Never going to hurt to have some more tools coming in. It's just something we can give out to traders if anyone turns up. What oh, the skins did really well. Those leather outfits did very, very well with the traders. How many of those do I have kicking around? One skin, or 35 skins, and 16 leather outfit. Okay, fair enough. How's my walls coming, kids? Oh, yeah, these are looking pretty snazzy. I like what we're doing down here with the walls. And a knowledge point for chopping down a bunch of trees, and a new human has been born. I am going to set up... Where's my work area for chopping down trees that I just set up? I think it's this one right here. I'm going to put another person on that. Uh, it seems like a lot of the stuff that we're going to be doing in the near future is going to be log intensive. So let's get some more trees chopped down. And actually, maybe we set up an area over here to do that as well. I think I'm going to do that. Uh, get tree chopping right here. So if I put a gate here, and then I wanted to draw palisades over here, it seems like that'll work. It seems like that's not going to interfere. So a bit of a wall here, right up to this rock. And then just to make sure, I'm just going to put a little bit in there. So a little bit of... Oh, we're low on food. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I've been very, very interested in building walls. Sorry, game. I'm, I'm going to do things about that momentarily. We did some bone knives. Uh, let's just kill literally anything that lives. Now I've got a knowledge point for putting a gate up. I like it, too. I like the way it looks. And then... In the spring, when we've got a little more going on, we've survived... Oh, well, it is the spring. Okay. Well, we've survived the winter. Good. So the fields should get back in operation, right? Let's get... Uh, you know what? Let's get some more fields. The fields are really making the town very, very big, though. I don't really... Oh, it's a storm. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I don't really want them that big. However, let's get some chickpeas. Maybe just like a small area of them over in here. And then how about, I don't know what bitter vetch is, but we're going to grow some just a tiny little bit right over in there. New human was born. I'm going to put some more people on fishing. And I'm actually just going to set up a whole new fishing area. We're that low on food. Let's, uh, let's keep things ticking along. Two new people have joined. We've got a population of 40. we got three knowledge points. Some of my people have no warm clothing. It is all going on around here. However... That does mean new knowledge point. All right, what am I doing here? Let's stick to something sensible that might be food or water related, like wells or goats. I'm kind of thinking goats. Goats, do we want goats? Goats might be fun. Thatching, that's good, but that's... Oh, I can get the cheese maker out of that. I am kind of hyper cheese oriented. No, get get the goat domestication thing. Let's be sensible here. Now, what the heck do I do with goats? I haven't figured out goats yet, but I did see we've got a mortar now. I didn't notice that. That's for, obviously, grain production into flour. Well, let's get that set up right in the center of town. That seems very, very handy. Uh, Tanner, I already have a couple of those, I think. Now, again, what are we doing with the goat nonsense? Because it said... 
I can domesticate goats. You know what, Dave? Read it again, because you often misread things, don't you? So we need stables. Okay, do we not have any of that yet? Or is that in another area? Sheep. I get sheep. I, I understand sheep. Required for stables. Okay, well, where are the stables? Ah, there it is. Okay, so I need thatching for that. Right, okay. So thatching, that's also Neolithic in here somewhere. Yeah, thatching. All right, so I got to get that next. Then I can figure out how goats work. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. That That is sensible. All right, I get that. Hopefully all these fields that we're putting down will kind of help with the food thing because that four meat that ain't okay i know we're low on food there's a oh oh you've, you're you're one of my people you're not an animal uh well technically you are but you're you're not an animal we're going to be hunting uh however got some wild horses over here take a poke at them you know what if that mammoth wanted to wander into our territory a little bit closer it's already wounded oh he's he's basically dead hang on hang on team Team, I know it's a really, really, really long way away, but can we get, like, some people over here to go kill this mammoth? Because that thing is basically about to die. Gorek showed up here with flax domestication and some linen cloth. I don't really feel I can part with this stuff, though. I'd love to grab that. How much do you want? 300. Yeah, that would basically be me selling everything we own to do that, and it's just not the right time. I'm kind of concerned. Oh, yes, we're hunting things. Hi. I'm um, sorry. We're hunting things at times eight speed. That was a little disconcerting there. How about times four? Four is better. There's some horses over there. The dog. I'm more concerned. I think we got the mammoth. We already got the mammoth. He's in there somewhere. I know the wild horses escaped. We're low on food. We're low on food and people are, are cold. We're, we're all going to learn to cope with this information. Well, five mammoths dead and five wild horses dead for a couple of knowledge points right there. Okay. We might be able to get to goats sooner than I think. All right, where are we at? The wild horses escaped. That's fine. It's not fine, actually. We, we should have been more affirmative about hunting the wild horse because we kind of needed the food. We'll get some meat back in. Meat will happen. We've got more fish coming in, and we've got all of our fields going now. So did we get the, uh, the other ones planted yet? Bitter vetch and some chickpeas. Okay. Okay. I think... Oh, the gate looks great with the wall. I'm not going to have them keep doing more wall, though. We need to focus on staying alive at this point. Aika, you didn't do very well at staying alive. I just set a task for us to stay alive, Aika, and you blew it. All right? That is probably an excellent place to call it on Dawn of Man for today. Little, uh, little light on the food right now. Little bit of a resource crunch. I might have taken too much time building up very, very pretty walls and bridges and not enough time hunting things. But I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay. We'll pick up some more of Dawn of Man again next time. Do please keep the comments coming in, folks. Let me know what you think of this. Hang on, there's a wolf attack. Hang on. All right, hang on. This is why I always have to put it in pause mode before I close out an episode, because something happens. Something always happens. Uh, you're probably dead. Sorry. Actually, you're beating him to death with an axe. That ain't bad. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Get in there, man. Get in there. You got that. You got that. Come on. There's a... There, your backup is coming. Backup is coming someday. We're, we're just being a little, a little slow about that. Oh, you got him. Oh, good job, man. Well done. All right. You are you are MVP of the colony today. All right. Slam it into pause mode. That is where we're going to call it on Dawn of Man. We'll pick up some more of this again next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. Uh, oh, they're stealing Jurgen. They're stealing Jurgen again. Once again, Jurgen is the Aquaman of our colony. Wait, I, can I take off my mohawk? Hang on. I can take off my mohawk. I'm wearing a wig. Oh, I got an achievement for decorating. It's about time, video game world. I have a cylinder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, I, I broke Dave. <laughs> broke Dave. <laughs> 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 uh, talk about yourselves on the back. <laughs> uh.
Uh, I just dropped my controller. <laughs> oh my goodness. 